to talk about material inspection and when it arrives and be, when it's delivered. It's great and ideal to try to intercept the load of materials as it's being delivered. And I don't care if it's your aggregate. Doesn't hurt to peek up over the bed of the truck, make sure it's the actual aggregate you ordered and in the quantity you've ordered. Uh, we've had loads of material come where it's, we, we are, somebody orders a load of 57 and a load of 411 shows up instead. And, and by the time we know it, it's all dumped on the street and now what, and the truck's gone. And that's just a big snafu for everybody. It's not good. So confirm your orders as best you can, when you can. It's really great to verify it on site. That's ideal. Materials when they arrive, our hardscape materials when they arrive, it's really important to get a good look over them. Make sure the corners aren't too smashed up or uh, you know, the pallet's been shifted and buckled and you, you know just inside of this it's going to be all torn up. Going down through like all your other stuff, when you get like capstones like this, make sure the edges and the faces are all good. Like that one's got a little bit of a chip on it there. Uh, the things you want to bring to your uh, supplier's attention or your, your account rep's attention, if it's something like, hey, this showed up like this, we're going to have to swap it out. Um, a good rep's going to take good care of you there and have that taken care of. Same with a lot of this stuff here, all your coping stones, stuff like that. We want to kind of peek in there. Make sure the color's right. Make sure it's the right material, period. Make sure the quantities match the order sheet. It's, I couldn't tell you how many times with materials from across the board that we order don't match what we ordered. So really important to check that out and have a good relationship with your, uh, you know, your supply reps and know that, you know, build a good relationship with them so that they know you're a trustworthy individual. And when you say something's messed up, they know you didn't just trash it on site to get rid of it kind of thing. Like build a good build good rapport with your suppliers. Same with all our pavers. This has already been opened, so that one kind of doesn't count because we've been pulling from it. But it's the same thing applies. Like when this is a brand new bundle, a couple of them that were delivered, we noticed the top is like a forklift had scraped across the top layer of pavers, and so that's something you want to be mindful of. Like that whole layer's worth that's twelve. I mean, a whole layer's worth seventy five dollars. You know, just retail car. You know, just you know our cost, right? So if that layer is trashed, you want to talk to your supplier about that. And the same thing with all this stuff. Just make sure, you know, just look at the pallet, make sure it's in, in decent shape. And uh, that way there's no issues. Once you actually go to use this stuff, it's like, oh, well, hey, this whole pallet's trashed. Do your pre-inspection before you even go to use it when it arrives. Ideally, even catch it before it comes off the truck so it's easier to reject materials that aren't to your standards. Another thing too to keep in mind that's a big deal is your site logistics. As you can see here, we kind of got all hands on deck here for this training video that we're shooting, but you want to keep in mind in your bidding process and uh, for logistics is where's everybody going to park? What's our access like? Can we go across a yard like this? Are we fortunate enough to have a big open yard? It's not super muddy. It was really dry when we started this job. Now it's starting to get wetter and it's really cold today, by the way. It's like 50 degrees. So it's like gloves might be a little overkill, but I'm a pretty big wuss when it comes to the cold. Uh, but you want to talk to your client, can we be in the yard like this? And you'd also talk to them about like, what does the damage of the yard, what's it going to look like, who's going to repair it, and to what level of repair is it going to be? That's a big deal. $50,000 landscape deal or job can be completely destroyed. The, the relationship with the client can be completely ruined just because the yard wasn't repaired to their standards. I've seen those deals where we put in beautiful landscapes and we get a disgruntled customer over just the yard repair. It's the craziest thing, but that's what happens. And over my 20 years in contracting, I've seen all that. So make sure it's communicated with your client. What exactly is going to happen to the yard when you bring in 40,000 pounds of material and 100,000 pounds of machines and equipment and making all those trips back and forth? That's why tracking machinery is so important. It helps uh, not trash the yard. Where are people going to park on the road? If they are, are we going to have flashers on, try to have some cones out, that kind of stuff. So we want to be really mindful to the public as far as where we're parking, how we're parking, and then our client, how we're staging materials and how we're accessing the job site. Another thing to consider on short or long-term projects is restrooms. Where are your guys going to go to the restroom? Our philosophy is to have a portable restroom on site for your short-term or long-term jobs. It's cheaper than paying your guys to hop in a truck, run in town, or run down the road, or even a couple blocks. It's cheaper to have a, a restroom on site than it is to you know, pay them to drive, run your tires off your truck, burn up gas. They're probably going to make a pit stop at the gas station anyhow. Uh, and it's just a lot of wasted time. So, you know, for the 150 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month that that thing is, 
it's way cheaper than paying your guys every day to drive somewhere to go to the restroom to go use the bathroom so uh that's a big deal and clients i believe in my, in my uh you know history so far with having a portable restroom is what I say is, like, if your contractor doesn't have one of those on site, where are the guys going to the restroom? Are they going on the side of the house? Like, where are they going to go? So, as professionals, we believe it's important to have a restroom on site, and that way some everybody's got a place to go, and it's saving time and saving money. So, the main thing to keep in mind is in your site logistics, where are you going to put stuff, how are you going to put it there, how long is it going to be there, and how are you going to fix things when you leave? That's the, the biggest thing to deal with when it comes to logistics. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share. Tweet it out to the world, send it to everybody, leave a comment, tell us how dumb we are, tell us how awesome we are, tell us, tell us something. Thanks, folks, appreciate it. Do you oh, do your own maintenance in house, oil changes and stuff like that, or? Um, no, we got a oil change place where it's like a drive-through oil change place, and they'll take our 4500s through there. Nice. And it's it's 10 minutes, you know. Yep. So, Generally and, and we got it. We actually got a business account there. Guys don't have to pay. You just say it's for Alpha. It's truck number, whatever. Yeah. And they just send, send it, and they actually keep the oil change records for us. Oh, that's cool. For those trucks. And Is it's, there a